So I wanted to talk to you right now. Hold on, I have to open this door. It's like messing with me to have the door closed. One second. Is that better? Feels better for me. Anyway, I wanted to talk to you today about some severely underrated drugstore makeup. First up, this Rimmel Magnifies Eyeshadow Palette. They call it the shadow Eyeshadow Contouring Palette. I wouldn't go that far, but you know what's funny? Just one quick thing. I When I saw this palette and I started using it, I always felt like it could be like this many shades less like there are several shades in here that don't need to exist sorry like these three these three here on the end i could do without the white one i could do without and it'd be a way better like more cohesive palette and then i see like uk beauty bloggers talking about this and the palettes are about this big like it's way better so anyway these shadows i find no one talks about they're really good they need to be put on with your fingertip. And maybe it's just me because I prefer putting on eyeshadows with my fingertips, so I kind of like that effect. And this one in particular looks kind of dark here, but you put it on and it's like the best glittery top coat for like your eyes, like a little pop here. I love this. I love this so much. No one talks about it. Put it on with your fingers if you don't like the formula. And um, yeah, you might like it that way. That's how I like it. Another um, eyeshadow that nobody talks about are the Neutrogena Nourishing Longwear Eyeshadow Quads. These are freaking awesome. If you like really, really soft eyeshadows, like these feel like you can't swatch like this. You have to kind of just like pat them because if you swatch hard like this, they're gonna crumble everywhere. Not because they're dry, crumbly, but they're just so soft. They'll start like moving everywhere, making a mess. Oh my God. Oh, <gasps> you see that? Oh, well the pan didn't break, but it totally fell out. Okay, so let's hold that a little more gently. These are freaking amazing. These are definitely an eyeshadow to put on with your fingertips. Blend out the corner with the, the corner. Blend out the outside with a brush, but put these on with your fingers. They're so freaking good. They're soft. They feel awesome going on. They blend amazing and they're really good. They lo they last a long time. They're called long wearing. Long wear eyeshadow and built-in primer. Definitely agree. I like these a lot. Um, I have that one, which is the shade uh, cool Coco Mauve. I have Cool Plum. This one is also really good. And I like that these deeper shades aren't so scary. Like you put them on and you don't make a big mess because the, you know, like some eyeshadows are so pigmented, you make a big mess with them. These are like super easy to use, really beginner friendly, um, even just pro friend, like who's really a pro, right? But anyway, they're really good. And this is the shade um, Classic Nude. You know, Neutrogena is not trying to do anything crazy. These shades you probably already have in other palettes and stuff or singles, but the formula is something very special and very underrated. Definitely check those out. Another eyeshadow that is severely underrated is number seven it feels almost like those Neutrogena shadows, like really, really, really soft, blendable. They're so good. They're not trying to reinvent the wheel here with the shades. They're definitely stuff you probably already have, but the formula is very special. This is a little trio in the shade Cappuccino and they're called Stay Perfect Trio Eyeshadow Palette Hypoallergenic. The whole number seven line is hypoallergenic, by the way. And this is how this one looks here. Like, really really nice these ones you can definitely swatch a little more like this not like the neutrogena ones where you feel like you're gonna mess up the whole pan they're so good you're not really gonna be able to see that oh maybe oh that's something else but <laughs> anyway you could see some of the swatches i'm doing and they're oh my god they're so soft they blend so well these are the ones you can put on with the brush too and they'll feel good but uh definitely with the fingertip here and then another number seven product that i have it's eyeshadows is a little palette that came out during christmas time they don't have this anymore but the formula in here, someone's like leaf blowing outside. Can you hear that? Sorry. The formula is really, really, really good. Really soft. Like, oh, like you just want to like play in the eyeshadow palette. Like not even wear it. Just touch it all day. It's good. Number seven is definitely an underrated eyeshadow brand. Another thing from number seven that's never talked about are their shadow sticks. They're called Shade and Define. 
I have two of them here. This one's called uh, Cool Mink, and this one is Gunmetal Gray. These are so good. I used to buy shadows, like, oh my god, so smooth. So creamy, so nice, and they blend out really, really well. Oh my god, my hand's like a giant mess. You know what? No more swatches. Anyway, these blend out so well, and they don't dry down so fast that you can't move them around or, like, you know, blend them out how you want. They build well on themselves. The only thing with this one, this one in particular, is very shimmery shade, and if you try to build it up too much, the glitter is going to fall out. But do like a normal amount with this and it's awesome. This one here is really good to build on top of too. Um, no glitter fallout with this one. It's just this one is like a super shimmery shade. On its own it's awesome. But if you blend it too much, there's going to be a little fallout. Last all day. They do take a little bit to kind of remove because they are so long wearing. But they are amazing. I really, really like those. And one more product. Oh my god, two more. Hold on. Get my little stack here. So this one is from another Neutrogena. Like, they're just an underrated brand in general. This is the Healthy Skin Anti-Aging Perfector Moisturizing Retinol Treatment. Oh, this, I think, belongs in the skincare section. They do sell it in the makeup, like on the wall with the makeup stuff. This definitely belongs with the skincare. It's amazing. So it is a retinol treatment, and with retinol, you're supposed to make sure we're sunscreen. You should be wearing sunscreen every day. But... Not all of us do. This comes with sunscreen in it and it's a retinol treatment. Um, it's, it's tinted, but it's almost non-existent. Like it, it, it says it's tinted. This one says fair to light, but it's, it's barely tinted. Like it's not going to give you coverage. It shouldn't be in the makeup section in my opinion, but it has SPF 20. So it's a retinol plus the SPF. I swear to God, it's made a difference in my skin. I have like these dark, like patches right here and I also have like these sunspots up here can you see them that I've been so paranoid about um but it's made a difference in the rest of my face I swear I freaking love this I will definitely repurchase it underrated it's really good from Neutrogena and it's awesome and I think maybe people don't talk about it because it's so unpigmented and it doesn't give you any coverage but the treatment quality of this um is awesome last thing I want to talk about are Revlon powder blushes these are amazing and no one talks about them. I have several, like these aren't even all the ones I have. They're so freaking good. I have the shades Bronzilla, I have Melon Drama, which is like a really nice orangey, kind of corally, I don't know. That, I don't have any shades like this. This is awesome. <gasps> it's gonna rain. Did you hear that? Oh, I'm so excited. I'll save the best two for last. This is Oat Pink and this is Tickled Pink. They both are like, like this is freaking fluorescent. This is a really, really nude kind of pink, but the best two, not the best two, they all have the same formula. They're all perfectly pigmented in my opinion. They're perfectly pigmented. You're not gonna feel like you have to just barely tap in there and just like barely get it on. These ones you can like brush your brush in there, put them on, you, you can overdo them. They have a nice amount of pigment, but they're not scary to use. The best one in my opinion is Naughty Nude. I have dropped this, I broke it, there's a big old crack in it. It's freaking amazing. And the second one that I love the most is called Marvelous. Have a big old dip in that one. This is a beautiful shade as well. Love them, definitely underrated. No one ever, underrated or like non-rated? Like nobody talks about these or any of the stuff I talked about. Anyway, that's it. I wanted to share some of my favorite things that no one ever talks about the drugstore. That's it, hopefully it rains and I'll see you in another video. Oh, goodbye.